What's up everybody, it's Idaho Rifleman. Hey, I'm out here, uh, I'm filming the video for this weekend and I wanted to actually address the last video that I put out. Is blank ammunition dangerous? Uh, the internet has absolutely exploded about Alec Baldwin's comments. There's been a ton of videos come out on YouTube just outright calling him a liar, which be that as it may, we may never know. Uh, but I'm actually going to chop down last week's video to just talk about the slip hammer on the 45, and I'm gonna put that out again uh, in a much shortened video. If any of you guys are like me, 16 minutes is a long time to sit through and watch a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-release that little clip talking about the slip hammer and showing how the 45 actually did go off without pulling the trigger. Now, with that Cimarron, it does not have the slip hammer in it that the Ruger revolver did. Uh, I'll show both of those in this clip, but keep in mind, when I'm shooting the Cimarron, my finger is on the trigger, but that's because that revolver does not have the slip hammer that the Ruger did. I showed you with the Ruger, the gun still was able to drop that hammer without my finger being on the trigger. To simulate that with the Cimarron, I do have to have my finger on the trigger, but if it had a true slip hammer like the Ruger did, I would not have to. So I want to clarify that, and then I'm going to go ahead and release this, this clip again just to put it out there. Not saying one way or the other what happened, but just to show that there is a possibility that Alec Baldwin may not have pulled the trigger. Now, I'll show you. This is empty. Um, so this, these revolvers like this, they have a four click uh, hammer system. So first click back is your safety, two clicks back, typically is what unlocks the cylinder so you can rotate it and load it. Three clicks back and then four holds the hammer back to fire it. Now this one, it doesn't have a one, a two, or a three. It only has four. So, and that's so that you can get the hammer back quicker and easier on your rundown for a better time. Now, what may have happened in this particular incident with Alec Baldwin, again, I'm not an expert on this. I don't know, it's just, a theory that I have. If he was practicing quick draw, which is something that we've heard through all this, if you had a hammer that was like this, you come back to three, if he didn't make it all the way to four, his thumb slipped off, that hammer is going to come back down. So what we're going to test is whether or not that will actually set off a cartridge in the cylinder. Okay, so it may not be what happened. Okay, I've got this focused in. You see right here, there's this little gate that comes up. And it blocks the firing pin as the hammer's coming back. So this particular revolver would not be capable of firing without the hammer being locked all the way back. This revolver, on the other hand, again, is not loaded. This revolver on the other hand, I don't know if you can see in there, does not have that gate. So let's give it a try under the same conditions. We're gonna do the exact same test as we did with the mounted shooting pistol. Uh, I've got another live cowboy action shooting round. This is different from cowboy mounted action shooting. Okay, so one is on the ground shooting at targets, the other is mounted off a horseback with blanks. This is a cowboy action shooting round. It is loaded, it is live. Since this revolver doesn't have the light hammer in it, we're gonna have to do this slightly different, but we're still gonna do it safely. So I'm gonna hold the hammer back and hold my finger down on the trigger, which allows that hammer to still move freely. Light pull on our and there it went off. So very possible that could be what happened. Again, we don't know. This is a rifleman theory. Just something I wanted to test out. 